Shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. You hear what I'm saying? We'll talk. Because it's Jordan, people are fan of Jordan. When Jordan put out that Jordan cologne, that shit was selling. But it goes right back to what you was talking about, about how Smack don't uh, groom these dudes the right way and he don't develop them the right way. Like, you got battle Smack rappers and shit right now. Smack stars, man. Huh? Smack not turning nobody into stars. Smack. None of these niggas pulled up in no Bentley yet. None of that. Ain't none of these niggas shot off their mansion that they got for all these years of battle rapping. Like, what, what is Smack going for, nigga? You know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, none of these niggas. If any of these niggas is rich, they're not rich off battle rap. It's because they took their little battle rap money and started trapping. Like, I would have did on some smart nigga shit. Real talk. And then, and then started my own business up and, and did what I had to do. Like, so, I applied, so if I, Jay, I applied Arsenal. If Jag was to star his own lead, what would you do different than Snap? Um, first off, I'll bring you back to the real essence. Um, it wouldn't be no more set up battles. It wouldn't be you know who you about to battle. No, we having a mystery card. Maybe y'all niggas pull up. I got all A, a listers. I'm gonna show y'all the names of the people that's gonna be in the building, but you ain't gonna know who battling, and they don't know who battling. You know what I'm saying? When we get up in there, we gonna draw it up. These two niggas gonna get busy on some real rap shit. Hey, hey, the bird box event. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You feel me? Have your bars ready. See, the rap rap to change. Niggas need monster, right? For niggas, niggas want to do these little schemes and all this type of shit. It's just different. You know what I mean? Real talk. So what's the next thing you'll do? Mm. I have security, more security than smack. God, the stage wouldn't be, it would be set up different. They trying to make an event, but they're really not making an event. If you don't make an event, you got to go all the way. Now, if you want to be some hood shit, then make it some hood shit. Take the microphones away. Put niggas in the motherfucking streets again. You know what I mean? Yeah, like school shit. Lunchroom shit. Yep. Yep. Niggas you ain't that nice, man. though, man. Like, we were just talking about that, man. How they mask, mm-hmm. how they mask uh, using all that fucking performance and all that shit for the fact of, uh, of them not being able to rap. Yeah, man. We got a lot of gimmick niggas out there. Shout out Sugar one on. <laughs> you know, he, uh. Shout out Sugar. Um. Uh, he does a lot of bumping in the niggas and touching on niggas' pants and. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like the fake, fake slam dunk on niggas. And, and that's what he used to cover up most of his battle rap. You know, mm-hmm. and, um. Uh, He's like, uh, he's like, he's like an Oliver Miller. The fat nigga used to play in the league, yeah. in the NBA, for the Suns, yeah. He like him, like when he has to play against Shaq and shit, like, he, Oliver Miller big, he 300 some pounds, big as shit in the league, but once you see him get somebody else that's actually good in that size, he trash. He trash, yeah. He trash, trash. You know what I mean? He's just there on size. And that's, that's what Sugar is very early. Sugar is just there on size. He's super, like, I literally be sitting watching Sugar like, how the fuck is this nigga even in battle rap? Like, I be watching him like, what the heck? Like, he lose damn near every fucking battle. You feel me? Yeah. He just he just got cooked by Pat State. You know what I'm saying? He predicted, his bodies and shit be predictable. Like, he lost to Chef Trey uh, on Cassidy Card. Yeah. Like, why is he even battling? But, like you said, it's the gimmicks. And I have judges at the battles. Mm-hmm. No more of that bullshit. You can, somebody gonna take a hell to die. See, that's a way to, that's a way to revive them. Not having them judges, mm-hmm. that's a way to revive their fucking career. Yeah. See, and another thing, too, is the reason why Cassidy can ask for what he's asking for is because he put in that work and he, he actually is worth he's worth that. Exactly. And these other dudes and, he, and these other dudes they can't because Smack allowed them to he revives them. He allows them to fuck up and come back and fuck up and come back. 
So that way, he they can't demand nothing. Exactly. Exactly, man. You know, uh, they can't keep masculine shit behind. You know, uh, just bullshit. They, they can't keep doing that. Um, you know, and thinking that they're going to be able to prosper. Like, I know Shirt knows he'll never be an artist. Yeah. But he's still going to try to rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He, he's still trying to rap, but it's like, you know, he ain't no fucking artist. Um, it's just, you know what I mean, man? Um, these niggas just, they, they, they gotta pick it up, dog. Battle rap ain't where it used to be. It's not the, and, and, and you know, this punch, I don't want niggas to blame this punch that Mook did on something like, nah. I feel like it's more, they, 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 if they utilize it right, if, if Smack a business, man, they utilize it right. Shit, they can make more money. Shit, they can, they can turn it into get something the, else. Get the boxing match going. Bridge versus Mo. Mm. Turn it into business. Like you know what I mean? Do it right, Smack. Turn it into business. Don't don't let people, you know what I'm saying, put the whole battle league down and now these niggas drop back 100 years again. Set it up right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Y'all, nah, this was set up. This was a set up. We knew that Mook was going to do this. You know what I mean? We setting up the boxing match. You dropping jewels. I'm trying to show these niggas how to get it, man. Mm-hmm. They don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't know how to get it. I need even smack. You know, Cash be giving smack ideas. I know. You feel me? Smack don't know what he's doing still. He just, you know what I'm saying? Street nigga that, that found, the, found the lane. And, you know, but he need that penny to some real business man around him to do this shit the right way. Smack is that motherfucking job out here, right? And you, you know that a job, you go to an eating place or something like that, and you know they need, or a grocery market, and you know these motherfuckers need help. But they trying to keep all the money in-house, so they going to say they ain't hiring, but they clearly need help. You know? Exactly. That's mm-hmm. That's that nigga shit, man. You feel me? Niggas don't want to utilize the gang. Utilize the white man, man, and, and get your help, dog. We've been getting used on for so many years. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Use that and get to that guap. You know, uh, you still keep your same niggas around. There's ways to do it, man. You know Speaking of I mean? that, how come, how can the white man use us and monopolize and capitalize off us better than we can uh-huh. each other? Come on, man. Exactly. You got, I was just using an analogy, right? About uh-huh. Vince McMahon. <laughs> In, in, in the wrestling and shit like that and how their packages and their deals uh, for the WWE Network is different from smacking them from the smack app that's because Vince McMahon and them they got the uh, pay-per-views included in the fucking um, the package that you order for every month smacking them has the pay-per-view separate so not only are you charging people for the old fucking old fucking matches and shit, you charging them again more for the current uh, uh, pay-per-view events. Come on, man. We got to stop doing that, man. We find strategic ways on how to capitalize off each other instead of finding ways on how to not only capitalize, but, you know, to, to help each other grow in the process. How is it that they can capitalize off of us and do that in a way like that? But we can't, man. It's just crazy, man. Like, it's just crazy. It's crazy. It don't make no sense. And you ain't going to get nowhere when you got a motherfucker like Cassidy and like you trying to teach motherfuckers on how to go and they ain't listening. Like I said, it's that nigga-itis. It's that nigga shit. The way as though we don't want to be the ones to say we got help. We want to yeah, be the ones to say we did it all on our own. Exactly. But the, but, the, but the truth of the matter is, you don't have the means. You don't have the means to be able to do it on your own. Come on, man. You just niggas, exactly. But niggas want to believe that they can't. They're big denial. That's all about a rap scene and denial. Mm-hmm. That's what I say. But but yeah. cash, but but chaos is delusional. Come on, man. They delusional get into a bag, so they letting a the delusional nigga come through and get bags on them. <laughs> And they stupid. 
know what I mean? <laughs> really That's cool. stupid. And he, and he getting bigger bags. Y'all letting a delusional nigga who's talks delusional talk his way into a bigger bag than y'all. So maybe y'all need to be delusional. That's what I said. I know people the people look at Cass as talking shit, but I know if Cash really wanted to turn up on these niggas, he could really expose these niggas for real. He really being humble. Crazy, bro. Yeah. Like these niggas perpetrate, man. And that's why I said I can't get behind and support that shit, man. I can't. You feel At me? All. And these motherfuckers trying to do reverse psychology, talking about why you talking about Cassidy? Why you doing this? Why you doing? Why you not? Right. Why are you up there? I don't. I don't get this shit with fans. Like I see that shit with Deontay Wilder and, my, and the people that I listen to that talk about him. I don't get this shit with fans. How we go against the grain on somebody that's trying to do like Cassidy? He's trying to give us the fans what we want. What nigga before? Oh, what nigga before him? Like promote it like he's doing. This is a one fucking promotion. This is A1 fucking material in the battle. Right. Come on now, them niggas ain't doing that. They 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 showing up, um, having nervous breakdowns, forgetting they rounds. Half of the time, them niggas don't even show up to the battle. And they taking bags and running. Collecting bags and running. Man. But you, you ask me, why am I continuously talking about a man that is doing everything the fans want? There's no fucking reason why every time Cassidy do anything, a fucking blog, interview, whatever, is loaded. Everybody is there. Yeah, they sold out the event. Sold out the event. Because niggas, niggas love, niggas actually love this shit. Like, niggas actually love it. Like, when I listen to your music, I can tell that you put time into it, that you love it. Like, you're yeah, in love with it. That's a fact. When I hear other niggas' music, you can tell that they just put anything together. I look at you and what you and Cassidy do like fresh produce. Them niggas got fucking carry out McDonald's. Exactly. Some shit that tastes that tastes good, get your taste buds going, but the shit ain't gonna help you. It ain't healthy for you. Clowns, man. That's some man, straight up clowns out this joint. But you said they out here um clowning move? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, I I seen a couple of uh, blogs that's basically saying that um he, he bought battle rap back. Oh shit. They they out here trying to clown T Top too. Basically saying like he fell on the crowd, made the whole crowd fall. They out here making memes and shit. Yeah, he did. Yeah, they all here making memes and shit like that, man. Like, T-Top a cool nigga. Like, I could tell, I don't know him, you know him, but, like, I could tell from afar, like, he a cool nigga, down-to-earth nigga. Yeah, he is, bro. Like, let's talk yeah, about, let's talk about Jack Boy running off the fucking stage and getting another chance to battle. Let's talk about that. Man, come on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Let's talk about that motherfucking, let's talk about that motherfucking, um... The, the ball that uh, Sirius Jones and Mav Hoffa dropped at RBE. Bro. That battle was garbage. Trash. Trash, man. You know, um, niggas just ain't prepping no more, man. They trash. Like, niggas ain't prepping no more, man. Battle rap is at an all time low. Again, how to get to that? Man, what's, I, I want to know what the fuck is up with Smack, man. Like, can we get you in there with somebody? Like, somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you I know, I love for you to kill serious old man. It don't even matter. He don't want he don't want new people in his league. You know what I'm saying? This is the thing. Like, he don't understand. He's not watching how this shit go. NFL, NBA, niggas expand. You know what I mean? You need expansion. You need to bring niggas in from overseas. You feel me? It's just like that. You know, it's about really expanding and not, not expanding how he thinks he's expanding because they traveling now. Like, nigga, nobody give a fuck about oh, that. Oh, I see what Smack doing. I see what he doing. I see what he doing. Because the intrigue, like you said, when you expand and you bring fresh people in there, like, you know how great URL would do if he was to bring somebody like you in there? Somebody that's already established on the music front 
then is world is is known on the battlefront as well. Then is known for having the the skills necessary to be able to, you know, hang with niggas. Not only hang but crush niggas. You see what I'm saying? Like, and then you've been on um Angry Fame. You've been in the interview with these dudes that that work for Smack. So at the end of the day, you know, like it'll be it's a perfect marriage. It's a perfect match. Exactly. But I already see what Smack doing though. I see what he doing. He want to keep everything in house so he can be able to control the narrative. That's why yeah. he ain't got no fucking security. That's why he ain't got no judges. I've been saying that though. No. Yeah. So the motherfuckers can keep losing and he can keep reviving and bringing their ass back to life so they could die again. Yep. Yeah. Everybody think they win it. Because it won't look good if you come in that joint, man, and you destroy one of them niggas. Because I'm going to tell you, the shit that I, man, I already know, I already know, man, I, I'm telling you, the minute you battle with nigga, niggas going to get scared, man. They going to get scared. Yeah. The minute you cook, should, because I already look past. When I, when I heard your shit, I look past should. You see what I'm saying? And I started thinking about the verbs. I started thinking about the hollows, the lux. And I'm like, dumb niggas is going to be scared. Like, they're going to be scared. They gonna be like, man, I got to stay away from this nigga. Like, I got to stay because he going he gonna end my fucking career. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why I told people, I said, man, people don't even realize Cassidy is really playing possum for real. When you look at it, he really because he used to kill shit back in the day. You see what I'm saying? Cassidy really playing possum. I see what he's doing. He not really trying yeah. to show these niggas his real full potential because niggas gonna start getting scared. Like niggas already acting like bras now, and motherfuckers ain't did nothing yet. Exactly. What you think if a nigga really hit the full potential of Jay, the full potential of Cassidy? Niggas gonna start, man. They gonna start avoiding. Hell yeah. Niggas already know that. that. Niggas already know that. That's why they. Ain't, that's why you ain't locked in yet. Exactly. Niggas don't want that. Niggas don't even know. You already gave the niggas that they look up to the business. Man, dog. Niggas that they be trying to hang with right now, you know. But it, uh, you know, niggas gonna find out soon, man. Regardless, they gonna have to see me. 